Well, the deadline's coming. July 29. This is the last computer that I have that needs to be upgraded to Windows 10. And waited till I got back from Mexico to do it because I wanted to make sure I didn't have any issues with my video editing software and all that. So, yep, my gadgets, I guess, are going to go away because they didn't come back after the upgrade on my other computers. So, I'm doing the download now. And we'll see how it goes once it's complete. Again, this is my Dell uh, Inspiron. Uh, I guess that's what you call it. It's uh, the N5050 model. I did a upgrade from the i3 to i5 core processor, the max it could handle. Went from 6 gigs to 8 gigs, which is the max it could handle as well. And then before my trip to Mexico, I upgraded it to a 500 gig uh, Samsung EVO 850 solid state drive. And yeah, that worked flawlessly. That actually helped you know, my rendering processes with both uh, Pinnacle Studio 14 and my AVS video editing software. Um, starting to actually convert more to my audio video, uh, the AVS software, because it's much quicker and I've got more options with it for uh, converting files to MP4s, which are more compact than what Pinnacle can create and much better, uh, you know, for the uh, upgrading videos in Mexico when they're still using DSL phone modems for internet. So yeah, the smaller, compact that I can get the videos, the better. But hopefully those will still work. Uh, I mean, they worked on my other computer, so I don't see any issues here. But again, I'm waiting, waiting until I get got back from Mexico to do this upgrade. So anyway, we'll see how it goes as uh, uh, time progresses, and uh, I'll test everything out, make sure it still works after the upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7. Yeah, progress is continuing. Well, download's about complete, about at 100%. So let the install progress, or proceed. Preparing install. Yeah, this sure does take a while. Was it almost three gigs? The size of the upgrade operating system? My goodness. Oh, yay, let's start the upgrade now. Shutting down. Configuring update for Windows 10. Uh, it looks like it's working. Upgrading Windows 2%. So, so far so good. I'll keep checking. Uh, there's that little blue window of Windows 10. Little by little, looks like we're getting there. to 32% now. Uh, yes, I never finished this video from last month in July. I did get this upgraded to Windows 10, but I had some problems. And, uh, yeah, it's working a lot better now. Um, yeah, the uh, thing got hung up when it was doing its updates. And, uh, hold on a second. And, uh, yeah, I got all my software loaded, reloaded, and all that. But, yeah, 32% there at the last clip. It locked up and froze up. Had to turn it over to my friend uh, that's IT guru to let him um, redo it. And, uh, man, everything's working great now. I mean, I've got all my video editing software loaded and all that is back on it now. So... Yeah, it's working uh, working great, but I don't know what caused it to freeze up. You know, it's got I was overwriting the Windows 7, and uh, yeah, for some reason it uh, just wouldn't wouldn't finish its install and had to be totally wiped and reinstalled. And then uh, around the time that I had those uh, update crashes on those other two desktops, so 
yeah, there was something weird going on. Um, let me see, where am I wanting to go? I wanted to go into settings. Wonder what's new for Windows 10? No, I don't. I don't care. Uh, let's check out my system here. Storage. Yep. A 500 gig SSD drive that's in it. Uh, it's a Samsung EVO 850, I believe. I think that's what it is. Um, all right, system information. Version Windows 10 Home. Yeah, that was what was installed on this thing originally was uh, Windows 7 Home. So can't put professional unless you had a different key. Um, let's see, 8 gigs of RAM installed. It's got the old i5 core processor. I mean, this thing's running really fast, you know, which is good. So um, I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, everything's working good. I've already tested it. You know, making uh, videos because I use my AVS video editor software, and sometimes I'm actually shifting away from Pinnacle Studio 14. It, it for some reason it's slower, and the MP4 files are much larger. And since I use this mostly for my trips in Mexico, I need something that can make the MP4s a smaller size, and the AVS video editing software does that. So, yep, um, so that's what I'm using on this one and uh, I've, yep so already been practicing with some videos so I'll be doing some uploading on it eventually but anyway enough rambling Windows 10 has been installed on my Dell Inspiron N5050 laptop so working good now and it's you know, again, got it upgraded before that July 29 deadline, because now, if I'm not mistaken, you got to pay for it. It's uh, I think $120 or something like that. So, <clears throat> yeah, got everything updated before that deadline was finished. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, adios.